What's going on everyone? Welcome back to CNC Auto Works. Today we're going to be doing a little something different. No carburetors, no no engines, no body work. But uh, recently I got my hands on a newer model Ford pickup, 2014. And it only had one key. So I purchased some keys off of eBay. I uh, went to a locksmith, had them cut. And I made the mistake of uh, basically trying to program a key myself. So I went in the dash and uh, I accidentally turned my key on, trying to make more keys. I wasn't sure what my key was. So uh, what my key did is it wound up basically screwing up the whole vehicle, in my opinion. It made it to where the uh, stereo volume, you couldn't turn it up. Uh, when you were driving, the stereo wouldn't play unless uh, you wore a seatbelt. I'm not big on seatbelts myself. And uh, it turned the speedometer limiter on to 80 miles an hour. And I definitely ain't for that. Because uh, here in Texas, we got a bunch of two-lane roads. When I get ready to pass somebody, I want to pass them. Uh, I don't want to sit there and hang out in the oncoming lane at 80 miles an hour. I want to run this thing up to 100, 120 whatever it takes to get around somebody because uh, i'm not going to hang out in the oncoming lane uh, trying to get around somebody we got a bunch of farmers and stuff around here that slow play and it just ain't for me but uh what wound up happening is uh basically i called the ford house and basically they wasn't gonna even try to help me for anything less than probably a thousand dollars is what they was quoting to actually program the keys and turn my key off and and all that so i did a quick google search found out uh some information on a deal called uh foreskin so i wound up buying this off ebay it's uh 15 bucks you hook it up to a laptop it's obd2 port and a usb hooks up uh, you got to get the one with the switch the bluetooth one will not work you need the one with the little toggle switch but basically, uh, with this and a laptop, you can turn my key off, and you can uh, program new keys. I wasn't sure if you could program a new key with this, but you can. First off, you're going to want to do is uh, get your laptop. And on your laptop, you're going to have to uh, go do a Google search and go to uh, download this uh, Forescan download. You're going to download this Forescan download. After you do that, uh, you're not going to be actually able to uh, do anything unless you uh, buy the license. And I actually did not buy the licensing. Uh, they actually had a two-month free trial of the extended license, and that's what I did. I just uh, went ahead, and you just got to have an email. I applied for the... Uh, I applied uh, for the... Uh, two month free and uh the next day they went ahead and sent me the email and the confirmation number to actually get in here and be able to do something you can buy a year's uh year's prescription for the extended licensing for uh, i think it's like 10 bucks it's not very much but after you've got that done what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hook up your tool your little four scan tool you hook it up to the obd2 port and you hook it up to your laptop and then you go into the uh, the actual, uh, I guess, program or app, whatever you want to call it. It actually uh, creates a little shortcut on your main page. Right there, looks just yeah. like so. Looks just like that, little Forescan icon. Ain't got no internet right now, I'm not sure this is going to work. but Maybe. And then you'll get a page that looks something like this when you open it. I'm going to go ahead and hook up this to uh, everything. And what you're going to do, now you got this up, you're going to see this little uh, connect deal down here. You're going to want to click that. Once you got it hooked up to your truck or your car or whatever, it's going to ask you if it's okay, blah, 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 turn on your ignition. You're just going to turn your key on to the on position. And 
it starts running like a little check if this is your truck say yes yeah, it'll ask you if that's your your uh, vent number the 2014 f-150 with a five liter in it yeah yeah then if it's not go ahead and click yes i have known some people that they got a five liter and it comes up as a eco boost not sure why does it have a switch it should yes 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 our uh then you're gonna have to want to turn it over the switch no it's set right okay you don't want to set it <laughs> It'll it'll basically tell you if your switch is switched to the right way. It asks you, and then if uh, it's not turned to the right way, it won't do nothing. Then you have to switch your switch, and then it'll start doing stuff. But anyways, it'll run all these checks, and then you'll go to this little icon here, and then you'll actually go down to uh, the IPC uh, module confirmation. Or configuration. And you go ahead and click this play button down here at the bottom left hand corner. Then it tells you to switch that switch again. If you haven't already had it switched, then you switch it. And this is basically everything you can change. You're going to want to scroll down to my key. We actually, uh, you can enable and disable stuff with the licensing. We actually turned off the seatbelt chime. Uh, we actually turned off the uh, open door welcome chime. Uh, you can turn off traction control. You can turn off my key. You can turn off several, several things. Uh, you can change the dash readout. You can go from a Ford readout to a Lincoln readout. You can change uh, a few different uh, Ford deals. Parking. Yeah, you can change the parking access, but you can see there, here's my key, right here. For some reason, it's enabled. We enabled it because I we guess. fixed it. That's kind of weird. But anyways, uh, all you got to do is uh, push disable on the my key, and then once you do that, I'm actually not going to do that because I don't need to anymore. But you'll go ahead and hit the disable, and then you'll come down here to where it says right, and then you'll click right, and then uh, you'll just press OK. We didn't change nothing, so it's not going to do anything. And then it'll go ahead and cycle your door locks and cycle your dash <clears throat> when you press right, and it actually takes my key off. But the reason that it's enabled again now on ours is because I wound up downloading or programming a new key with this program and once I made a new key it actually acted as an admin key so I was able to enable the my key and go ahead and use the new key to get into the dash and uh, clear the my keys on the dash and the reason i did this is because even though i turned my key off the radio did work and you could ride around without the seat belts and the radio would work and the volume would actually turn up but the speed limiter was still set at 80. so what we wound up doing is using this program program the new key that i got from ebay and after we programmed that key, we enabled the my key, and then I was able to get in the dash and go ahead and use the new key, since I had two keys, to clear the my keys of the truck, and then I could set my speed limiter to, un to uh, unlimited or no speed. But now that we showed you how to disable my key, if that's uh, the only thing you want to do, that's how you do the my key deal but now we're going to show you how to uh, actually program a new key and uh, you're going to want to make sure that your keys are programmable because if you start the program and your new key is not programmable it will lock you out of all keys it, it will make your new your old key where it will not work it's very nerve-wracking 
and it's a 12 minute process i got lucky the keys i bought were programmable and i was able to do it but we're gonna back out of this and we're gonna go to uh show you where you can program a new key Yeah, you're going to want to click on that the patch programming what you need wi-fi for i think yeah you might actually need wi-fi for this but since i don't have wi-fi i'm just going to kind of explain it to you you'll click on the patch programming you'll go down to the corner you'll push to play it will ask you to uh, put your old key in, turn it on, turn on the ignition, you'll click a button, it's going to warn you that, hey, this may not be good if your other key is not programmed, and you'll press OK, and then it'll ask you to uh, take 10 seconds, turn the ignition off, pull your old key out, you'll put your new key in, wait 10 seconds, turn the ignition back on, then you can press OK, and it will actually start programming your new key. Uh, I'm not going to get into that part and show you step by step. I'm just going to tell you because, like I said, it was very nerve-wracking for me because uh, I actually didn't want to have to go to dealership and have it towed and spend $2,000 just because uh, I wound up locking myself out of all my keys altogether. Uh, that's part of the reason I'm not crazy about these new vehicles is because of all this BS that the manufacturer started putting on them. There's really no reason that uh, you should have these stupid uh, program chip keys. I mean, these vehicles, Dodge Chargers, Challengers, they're getting stole left and right. I mean, if people want to steal them, they're going to steal them whether it has a chip or not. I don't understand it. But that's just a... This is just basically how I fixed everything that I messed up trying to program a new key or what I thought would program a new key in my dash. But we wound up getting it working. Uh, I've now got two keys. Uh, actually, the uh, locksmith that cut my keys kind of messed one up. So I didn't even program the other key because, uh, it, like I say, it was kind of messed up. It's kind of finicky. Uh, it kind of jumped out of his key cutter. And it cut too deep, so you kind of got to play with the key a lot and get it just right for a turn ignition. So I didn't even want to part with all that. But hopefully this video will help somebody get something figured out to where you can uh, turn my key off. Because there's a lot of people that accidentally just uh, turn my key on and it kind of ruins the experience of the vehicle as far as I'm concerned. And when you buy these vehicles second hands, you usually don't have an admin key to uh, turn uh, the my key off. If you have an admin key, you don't have to go through none of this. But this whole process cost me uh, it's like $40, $45. I paid $15 for the OBD2 port uh, deal to actually hook up to this. And then uh, I paid uh, $25 for uh, two keys. And you can actually uh, program the key fobs without any of this. All you do is cycle the ignition uh, eight times and you'll hit the lock button on the new key fobs. It'll cycle your locks. You kill the ignition and that's that. <clears throat> it's uh, fairly straightforward to program key fobs. And uh, I thought by programming the key fob, it would program the keys and that wasn't the case. So it kind of led to a headache. And uh, like I say, a couple of Google searches, we kind of figured out everything. My little brother, he's kind of a computer whiz. He's more or less the one to figure all of it out. Uh, if it wasn't for him, I'd probably still be stuck. And I didn't even actually have a laptop. And he's the one that came to the rescue of the laptop. The uh, force scan deal actually came with a little disc. But uh, his laptop don't even have a disc drive to uh, download the force scan uh, program. So... We just had to uh, do a Google search to download it. But I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. I think I covered everything. To uh, uh, you, you missed one thing. 
whenever you get the four scan it's just like a standard edition and then uh you're gonna have to go and get like the licensing deal if you go over here on the about deal and it you can uh it tells you whenever you get an extended license you can go and google search and it's the same thing you can uh download the extended license and follow the instructions and everything so you can get a whole i think it's a whole two months two months of uh this for uh free and then uh it charges you so if you just want to do it a one-time deal you just do it for free and then you're good you just use your email you sign yeah. up and you can use your email for free yeah, you just enter an activation up. code right here on the top, and that's all you got to do. So it's fairly easy, and you can get a year a year licensing for uh, $10 if you want to pay for the licensing. But I didn't want to pay for the licensing all, right off the bat because uh, I wasn't sure that this was even going to work. So I didn't want to invest any more money in it. But now that I know it worked... Uh, I may go ahead and pay for the year's licensing, so maybe I can help other folks around here uh, program keys and figure out some of the issues with their vehicles. But that's going to be everything for this video, guys. Until next time, we'll catch y'all later.